Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Missy from the blog Rambling Rose Farmhouse. I'm really happy to have you here today. So the video that I'm doing today is related to the last one that I did. The last video I did was um, showing some of the spring finds that I found at the dollar store. And so I'm gonna be using some of those things today to do um, a spring slash Easter craft. So what I'm gonna be using are some of these cute little napkins that I found at the dollar store. These have little bunnies on them. And then these are little Easter eggs and um, the little plaid looking one. But I'm gonna be using those to make some decoupage Easter eggs. And um, so the idea came, we have geese. So we've been getting these geese eggs that are huge. And I kept looking at these eggs and thinking that I wanted to do something with them. One of my childhood memories is blowing out the eggs and keeping the eggshells. We always would do that around Easter time. I don't even remember specifically what we did with the eggshells, but I remember doing blowing out the eggs. And so I kept thinking I need to do something with that. Well, when I found the cute napkins is when I got the idea to use the goose eggs to decoupage with um, like some pretty little Easter or springy things on there. But if you don't have huge goose eggs, you can do it with your regular eggs. Those are the size eggs that we used to blow out when I was younger and make crafts out of. But if you do want big ones, I did find some different types of eggs on Amazon that look like they are about the size of these goose eggs. Like some of them were um, cardboard, some I think were paper mache. So there were some different materials, but they would work really good and they weren't very expensive. So if you've never um, blown out eggs before, the first thing that I'm gonna do is show you how to do that. And then I'm gonna show you, you know, how to um, decoupage the eggs really easily. Here's a couple of eggs that I've already done. This one has the little uh, plaid napkin on it. And then this one has florals and Easter eggs on there. And so I think they turn out really cute. And once they're, I mean, I'm sure they'll break, but they're pretty tough once they're decoupaged and have all of the stuff on here. So what I use to do this is, um, Mod Podge and then an older paintbrush. You don't want to use your best paintbrush to do this little project because this is like glue. And then just some scissors to cut your designs. And then, like I said, the napkins. And these, like I said, they all came from the dollar store and they were a dollar a pack. So this is a really inexpensive um, project. It's not expensive at all, especially if you use the eggs you already have. And if you just get a package or two of um, dollar napkins and then um, some Mod Podge, which you can always use that for other projects too. So, so I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start by first showing you how to blow the egg out. And to do that, I'm using um, just a good old fashioned ice pick. Now I do remember when we used to do it, sometimes we just used a bigger um, sewing needle. And um, so, an ice pick or big sewing needle, either one. You just need something to make a hole in that egg. And then you're gonna need something to put it in. So I'll just have a bowl here to um, blow the egg out into. Okay, so the way I like to do this is I like to take the, um, the ice pick and the larger side of the egg and I do it first. And I just take it like this. Now, you probably will have to be more gentle if you're using a regular, um, um, chicken egg because this egg is a little bit tougher but so I have to kind of hit it hard you're probably just gonna have to tap it but I'm gonna go ahead and move the bowl out of the way and I'm going to just tap this end until I get a pretty decent size hole made and then I'm gonna flip it over and do a hole in the other side. It doesn't really have to be as big. It's kind of... Okay, 
So I'm going to hold my finger over this one. I'm going to stick my ice pick in here and, oh goodness, it's coming out. Squish that yellow around so that it will come out. And then I'm going to flip it back over and just start blowing on it. And there it is. So then I'll take it to the sink and I'll put water in the egg, shake it around, and then I get the water out of it. And then I usually put a little bit of dish detergent in there. And again, I'll shake that all around and then I'll rinse it really good and then set it upright so that the water can drain all the way out of it. And then I make sure that it's really good and dry on the inside before I start working with it to do the little um, craft. So that's it. That's how to blow the egg out. Not very difficult. And um, just give it a try. Okay, so the first thing that I do before I start putting the decoupage on is I just take some regular tissue paper. I tear some little pieces off and I cover my holes like this. And so that way um, there's something there when I get ready to put the decoupage stuff on it. So I have one here that I haven't done yet. I'm gonna go ahead and do it so that you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm just using my Mod Podge. And we're gonna put that all around the hole. And then I'm just gonna take a piece that I've torn Put over the hole. This piece is a little big, but it won't matter. Nothing precise. Just put the tissue paper over the opening. And then I'll turn it over and do the same thing on this side. And then I'll set this aside and let it dry before I start doing the other um, things on it. Okay, so I'm about ready to start doing my eggs. And I have these two that are done already. And then I have a couple that are kind of in the middle of being done so that I can kind of show you what, um, you know, how I, how I put my place place my things on here. What I have found is that when they get a certain amount on, I have to stop and let it dry because if you touch it with your fingers, you'll start lifting it off and that's not what you want to do. So it's better to just stop and let them dry and then come back and work on them again. So that's what I'm going to do. I have a couple that I can do that with and then I have some that don't have anything on them yet and so I'm going to start on those. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is to go ahead and separate your napkins out. Um, mine were all two-ply. Some of them are three or four, which just means they have more layers. So mine only have two layers. So all I have to do is find those layers and separate them and then use the, the top layer with the design and not the other layer. On a few of mine, I didn't do that. And on some of them, it worked really good. And on some, um, it didn't. So I think it's really easier if you do go ahead and separate them at the beginning and just leave that first layer. And that way, you won't have as many problems um, when you go to put your decoupage on there. So separate them out um, and then cut out whatever little designs that you wanna use and have those ready and then have your Mod Podge and your paintbrush. And um, I would recommend working on a surface that you don't mind getting Mod Podge on. So I'm gonna go ahead 
and get started with a new egg. And then when I have to stop and let that one dry, I'm gonna to go to one of those others so that I can show you how to, how to fill your design in and everything. Let me go ahead and cut a few of these little eggs out here real quick. And I just cut mine, I just cut them out with little scissors. And if you can tell, some of them, they're not even complete, but it's okay because they'll just fit together with like another flower or something like that. Just a few of them are actually whole eggs. And I cut out all of these little flowers because they just work really well to fill in little um, spots and things on the eggs. Okay, I'm gonna move all these little things out of the way so that I can get my egg over here where you can see it good. And I'm gonna get started. So I'm just using um, a small paintbrush, not one of my best paintbrushes, to apply the um, Mod Podge onto the egg. And I'm just using the regular Mod Podge. I'm using the mat. And this will act as a glue and a sealer. So once I have this on here, I won't have to do anything else to the egg. So I'm just going to start with, I think mine's getting a little thick. I've had it sitting here open. I'm just gonna start with an area. Just pick one, it doesn't really matter. Cover the whole area with the glue. Let me figure out what I did with my lid. So set my brush down here. And then I'm just gonna pick one of my um, things here. So I think I'm gonna pick this egg with the flower. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that right down there. Make sure I have it really good along all the edges. And then I'm just gonna use my brush with the Mod Podge on it to stick the design down. And I can stick it up underneath there if I feel like I need a little bit more. And I'm pretty much covering the whole design with it. And if there's air bubbles, I'm just pushing down to try to get those air bubbles out as I go. Now, you don't want to just keep going over it and over it. You don't want to um, tear your napkin. So get it on there and then go ahead and move to a different spot. So I'm just going to move to this spot right over here next to it. Put some on here and then figure out what I'm going to put here. And I think, let me see, I'm going to do some flowers. So just stick that down. And you'll have wrinkles because you're working on a curved surface, but it's not a big deal. And then just go ahead, just like the other one, right on top. Apply the Mod Podge. I'm gonna put this cut edge to where I can come back and add something right there on top of it. And let's see, I have a little hole there, so let me see what I can do there. 
see if I have a little flower. Um, I do, I have this little purple flower. I can stick that right there. And stick it down. And that's what I do. All those little tiny flowers, I'll just come back and stick in the little holes that I have. Okay, so this one is getting hard. I can't really turn it to the other side. If I do, I'm going to have to have my fingers on top of this, and that's going to mess this up. So I'm going to sit this one down. I'm going to get a place to set it. And then I'm going to pick up one of my other ones and work on it. All right, so I'm going to do this one that I've already worked on prior to this. I put some of my plaids on here, um, an egg, some flowers. And so I'm just gonna come over here to my edges, that big, my bigger places that don't have anything, and I'm gonna do them. And then at the end, I'll come back and I'll fill in any little, I tried to overlap as I was doing it, but see, I have like a space here that needs something in there. I have a space here that needs something. So I'll come back at the very end and I'll do those. And when I'm finished, the whole surface will be covered with the Mod Podge. It's a nice sealed surface, so it'll be finished. I won't have to do anything else to it. So let me go ahead and put some things in here. So I'm just going to start down here on this edge. And let's see. And you can plan this out more if you want to instead of just being kind of random with it. But I'm just gonna be random. Now see, I'm overlapping this here on that straight edge. And then it's gonna overlap this side a little bit too. And let's see, I don't think I got my stuff quite up that far. So. And I'll just start laying it down with the Mod Podge. Like I said, you will have room tools. It's not a big deal. Cover all the edges of this. So it's much easier to do this if you're working with um, an already dried space so that your fingers aren't touching it. So we need to come up this way now. And let's see what we have that we can do here. Hmm. Okay, here's a good flower. And like I said before, you can use this technique on anything. You don't have to do eggs. You could do any kind of cute little container that you might have. Um, I thought about doing a watering can. I think that would be really cute. So. The technique was going to be the same regardless of what you do with them. Okay, I'm going to turn it around and I've got another big area here that's not done. So I guess I worked on my eggs probably like actually in three or four stages because I did that first stage of the big pieces, let it dry, then I did the second stage of big and then came back probably twice and filled in my little places. But the truth of this is it doesn't take long to dry at all. So if you're doing several eggs by the time you um finish a couple of them the others will be dry enough that you can come back and do your next uh part on there okay let's see this might be a little too big hmm, i don't think it is though so i'm gonna put this one right here i think i'm gonna cut this yellow flower off 
because, well, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave it. Okay, so this part that's overlapping, I did not have any Mod Podge underneath there. So I have to go back there and just slide a little bit in, which is not a big deal. Now, this would be a big deal if I was doing it wet on wet. It would really start causing some problems. But when it's dry already, it's really not a big deal. See now on this one, I have all of my big areas covered and I just have a few smaller ones to do. This one I probably can go ahead and do because it's pretty dry. Um, let's see what I have I can use there. I think I'm going to use this other yellow flower. I'm just going to stick that one right in there like that, and it's going to cover that spot. And like I said, don't stress out about what you put where or how you do it. Okay, so that's about all I can do on this one without letting it dry a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and sit this one down and I'm going to pick up one of my other ones. So this one, I did the little bunny zone and I think on this one I might be going to leave more white space, but I'm going to go ahead and try to add another bunny in this big area here. Then I've got to put something down here to cover up my hole on the bottom. So we'll see. So let's see. I think I'm going to try to put a bunny like this. I'm going to fill in some of these little areas with some of these little Easter eggs and um, carrots and other little designs that I have here. What did I just do to this? I just folded it up, so I've got to get that unfolded. that one ok 
Okay, I'm gonna put an Easter egg on the bottom like this to cover up that hole. And I'm probably gonna have to put this down and let it dry because I have wet areas all the way around it. But to finish this one, I'm just gonna keep putting Easter eggs and these carrots in these white spaces. So let me go ahead and sit this one down. All right, and so this first one that I started, it's still a little wet, but it's dry enough that I can add some things to the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Cover this spot right here with something kind of big. So I'm going to put this one on here. And I definitely did not get my stuff out far enough. Now, each time I try to do one, I try to make sure I totally cut it, coat it with the Mod Podge. But when you're finished, if you find any areas that aren't coated on top, just go back and do that. Because like I said, that's what seals it. It'll, it'll make it um, kind of, you know, waterproof and it'll just be, it'll be good to go. All right, so I got that one on there. And I'm going to go ahead and put something here, and then I'll have to put this one down and let it dry again. But I can put something in this area right here. And I'm probably going to do, I'm going to do an egg. But I think you get the general idea. You just work in layers around it, letting it dry in between, and um, just fill in. You can fill it in solid, or you can do it like I'm doing on the little bunny one, and not fill it in solid. So I'm going to go ahead and let this one dry and I'm going to come back and show you all of them when I get them finished. Okay, so here are all the little decoupaged eggs that I did. Here's the one with the bunnies and the little carrots. So this is more like for a child. I think that's as cute though. And then here's another one with the bunnies. Some flowers on this side and some Easter eggs. And then these are more the ones made with these napkins. <laughs> with these napkins that are the florals and the Easter eggs. So I have a few of those. And here's another one. And then I have the one that is just the plaid. And I am going to go ahead and make a few more, but these are the ones I have now. So I hope that um, you'll be inspired to make some for yourself.
So I hope you like this video and that you will give it a try to make some decoupage eggs yourself or even something else. If you don't want to do eggs, you can use the same, you know, concepts to decoupage on something else. You might have like a cute little um, bucket or something that you want to do, even a basket. Um, my, so, my oldest son had an Easter basket that my mama had decoupaged some cute things on. I'll have to see if I can find that, if I still have it, or I'm not sure if I have it or if he has it. But if I can find it, I'm going to put, um, I'll put it in here so you can see it. But anyway, if you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. And I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I try to make a video every week. And um, I just really appreciate all of you who watch my videos. So be sure and come back again next week for another video.